What's up guys, Nathan here, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to win at poker every single time. Just do this, let's jump right into it. All right, so first thing I need to point out is that nobody wins at poker every single time. It's just not possible. However, the tips that I'm gonna teach you today, the three-step process, is going to at least help you win as consistently as possible. You're never gonna win every single time, it's just not the way the game works, so I need to get that out of the way first. Also, at the end of this video, I'm gonna walk you through a poker hand step-by-step -step to show you exactly what I'm talking about, so let's jump right into it. All right, so step number one is to only play good hands. Guys, if you wanna get ahead in poker, you need to stop playing bad hands that put you in mathematically disadvantageous positions. So what do I mean by this? Only play these hands, pocket aces down to pocket twos. So pocket aces, pocket kings, pocket queens, pocket jacks, pocket tens, all the way down to pocket twos. In addition to those, also play ace king, ace queen, ace jack, king queen, king jack, queen jack, and only if they're suited, play jack 10, 10, 9, 9, 8, and 8, 7. What do I mean by suited? I mean both cards are the same suit. For example, jack of hearts, 10 of hearts. So basically this means you need to be folding everything else. And I know this sounds crazy to a lot of people, but you clicked on this video because you wanna learn how to win at poker every time, right? That's what this is going to get you to do. When you only play really, really strong hands like this, you're going to put yourself in a far superior position mathematically to the other players at the poker table. We're playing all sorts of junky hands and this is going to get you winning much faster. Now, a lot of people tell me, oh, but Nathan, I get bored when I'm only playing so few hands like this. My answer in that situation is if you're playing online poker in particular, try playing multiple tables. Now, the last thing I need to point out is that I would highly recommend that you only play in low stakes games, at least to start with. Because if you play at higher stakes games, good players are gonna notice right away that you're only playing a very tight range like this, only a very small percentage of your hands, and they're going to abuse you. And they're going to pick up on this and they're going to exploit you. But at lower stakes, most players are relative beginners. We're not paying a lot of attention to what you're doing and therefore you will be able to get away with this strategy. Let's move on to point number two. All right, so tip number two is to play in position. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean, try to play the majority of your poker hands either on the cutoff or on the button. Now, what do I also mean by this? I mean, try to play as few hands as possible from early position, middle position, and the blinds. If you don't don't know what these mean, I will put up an image on the poker screen for you right now so you get an, a better idea. I also have a free poker cheat sheet which will be the top link in the description below where I walk you through it step by step in greater detail. Bottom line guys, you need to understand what the most profitable seats are at the poker table. You will make the vast majority of your profits in poker from the cutoff and the button and so it only makes sense that you want to try to play as many hands as possible from those seats and try to play as few hands as possible from the other seats. Now with some of the big hands that I just talked about, like pocket aces, pocket kings, ace king and stuff like that, it doesn't matter where you are at the poker table because those hands are so strong. But for most other hands, you need to always be thinking about your position at the poker table before you decide to get involved in a hand. Bottom line, try to play as much as possible from the cutoff and the button and try to limit the amount of hands you play from the other seats at the poker table. You're going to have a lot more success. Let's move on to point number three. All right, so the final tip that I have for you to start winning at poker every single time or almost every single time is to value bet them relentlessly and I'm going to give you an example right now of what I mean by that. So basically what I'm talking about is anytime you hit a pair or any kind of good draw you should be betting frequently and strongly. So let's give you an example here. You raise it up pre-flop with ace jack offsuit, ace of diamonds, jack of hearts from the button. The button as we just talked about any loose player, typical loose player at the low stakes games calls you in the big blind. Good situation. Flop comes down with an eight of clubs, jack of diamonds, five of clubs. What should you be doing here? Well, the loose player, of course, is going to be acting first because they're in a big blind. Loose player checks. Yes, you should bet. This is absolutely not the time to ever be slow playing. Take that word out of your poker vocabulary right now. You want to win big against these players. Guys, look at this board here. There are so many draws and worse hands available in a spot like this. This player could have king jack, queen jack, jack 10, jack 9. You are ahead of all of those hands because we have top pair, top kicker. There are also multiple, multiple draws that we want to charge right now. For example, any two clubs have a flush draw. And if this player has 9-10, they have an open-ended straight draw. If this
This player has 6-7, they also have an open-ended straight draw. So it is an absolute massive mistake here to check and get trappy and tricky in a spot like this. Guys, do not do this. Make a big bet right now with your strong hand and let them call. All right, so we made a big bet, as we should be doing. Loose player calls, let's go to the turn. Turn comes with a three of hearts, a total brick. What should we be doing again? We should be betting big. Once again, guys, do not slow play. The only way to win a big pot is to build it. There is no reason to get tricky in a situation like this. Just keep betting. Let's go to the river. River comes down with a king of spades. So every single draw missed on this board, all of the straight draws, all of the flush draws, and the loose player checks to us again. Now, what do a lot of people do here? They choose to just check behind. Oh, look, it's it's a king. Yes, guys, he could potentially have the king, but there's so many other hands that this player could have as well. And that is why it is an absolute huge mistake here to not make another, what I call a thin value bet on the river here. Yes, you wanna be betting again. Now, I would suggest betting a little bit smaller, maybe bet about half pot on the river, but you want to bet again here. Let them call with the hand and like Queen Jack, Jack 10, Jack 9, Ace 8, Queen 8. You guys get the idea. There are many, many hands here that can still call us on this board. It is very, very important you get absolutely every last chip out of them in these situations. So guys, try out these three simple poker tips. I think that they will get you winning consistently in small stakes games. Maybe not every time. Like I said, it is simply not possible. It is not realistic to win at poker every single time, but try out these tips and let me know how they work for you. If you guys want to see more poker strategy videos like this, make sure you're subscribed to the channel here and also shove all in on that like button below if you found this video helpful. Lastly, I'll leave a copy of my free poker cheat sheet. That'll be the top link in the description below. You can read it in an afternoon. It's completely free and I think that'll get you quickly winning at poker as well. So thanks a lot for watching guys. This has been Nathan Williams with BlackRain79.com.